interested in the priorities of, of each leader here. Uh, when it comes to President Xi, what is the message that, uh, that he would want to send uh, domestically and, and I guess to, uh, to the United States in not just having this meeting, but uh, making it, uh, it seem as if that there are substantive matters that are going to be processed? Yes, thank you very much, Mike, for having, having me. Uh, you know, domestically, I think President Xi Jinping is facing a lot of challenges in terms of um, a weak or di rather disappointing economic recovery. So very, a very important uh, mission for him is to trying to send the signal that he has the capacity or at least he's trying very hard to stabilize relationship with the United States so that uh, international confidence in the Chinese economy can be regained. Then internationally, or more specifically in terms of U.S.-China relations, I think President Xi Jinping perhaps recognized the cost of a, um, a U.S.-China relationship deterioration. So it is very important for him to stabilize the relationship to avoid an accidental uh, mistake. And then finally, uh, you know, there is an election coming up next year uh, in, in, in Taiwan. So he is also very important for Xi Jinping to make sure that the United States is not necessarily going to support Taiwan independence at this time. We're, we're hearing um, talk of perhaps some agreements on uh, climate change initiatives, on, on fentanyl uh, trade and things like that. Does it, big picture, does it indicate um, an important de-escalation in some of the tensions or are these just gestures? Um, you know, I think that's a very it's a very interesting way you put it, Mike, in terms of uh, whether this would only be some some gesture. You know, I would say that uh, actually climate change is is a very a sort of like a, I would call it a, even a low hanging fruit in U.S. China relationship. Even when you know the relationship has been uh, very tense, climate change and the climate cooperation is one one common ground that both Chinese officials and U.S. officials have been talking about, right? And then in terms of fentanyl, I actually do not think state-to-state -state agreement on counter uh, fentanyl, illicit fentanyl trafficking or manufacturing would be uh, would would be any any effective because the making of fentanyl is very much profit driven, and then on top of that, there is a market and regulatory fra fragmentation inside China. So, um, you know, the, for, for, for 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 from this perspective, it could be a good gesture, but it's not necessarily going to solve the structural challenges in U.S.-China relationship. I mean, those structural challenges. President Biden would would certainly say and has said that the United States does not have an interest in severely weakening China on an economic basis. But there is this, this competition, and a lot of the trade uh, issues and technology issues are bound up in, in, in security concerns, or at least they're said to be. Uh, are those going to be somewhat off limits uh, for this meeting? Um, this is the part where, you know, President Xi Jinping, as the uh, top the top leader of the Chinese political economic system is supposed to not necessarily be the person uh, delivering specific policy or specific priority areas, uh, because a lot of these discussions have already been done uh, between Jen Yellen and uh, He Lifeng uh, earlier, uh, 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 last, uh, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, he is really trying. He he his primary job today is really trying to send the message that, uh, you know, healthy competition uh, is important, but it needs to be a managed competition between the United States and China. And finally, do you have a read on the Chinese people, their current perspective on the relationship with the U.S. and what they would like to see from it? Oh, the, you know that's very interesting, Mike. Um, uh, a few days ago, there is this uh, there is this report saying that um, Ch Chinese people's sentiment to the United to the United States has shifted compared with a year ago. Uh, com in, in particular, you know, for um, those who consider the United States as an enemy, has dramatically declined. But then, you know, you also see this sentiment change in Chinese leading newspapers uh, such as the the People da the People's Daily, uh, the story Stories about flying tiger has been bring back, and uh, President Xi Jinping also is. Uh, there are also courage stories talking about President Xi Jinping invited his old friend from uh, Iowa. So from that perspective, we do see that China and the Chinese media uh, has been projecting this strong political will um, mm -hmm. to support this relationship recovering.